Okay, so we are moving on to uh, building uh, responsiveness into our simple little website. So uh, if you want to make a fresh start, then download MogHub website Quick Start 7 from the link in the description. Um, otherwise, you can carry on from 6 if you feel like you've done a good job. So I've downloaded 7 and I'll just unzip it and I'll take that MogHub website and put it on my desktop to replace the previous one and then I'm just going to open up Dreammover. Everything will connect up. Okay, so at the moment we've learned how to create a an external style sheet and how to style our page. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Um, we have not built any responsiveness into this. So if uh, this website was viewed on a phone, uh, it would not be a great experience because the uh, user would have to trombone in and out, zoom in and out, and scroll left and right, and it would just generally be a bad experience. So the first stage of building responsiveness into your website is to create a media query that allows you to restyle for a mobile screen width. Now you can get very granular with your breakpoints. Breakpoints are the points at which the media query kicks in, in terms of screen width. I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to say that any screen uh, that is less than 960, uh, which is the width of my wrapper here. Remember, if I go into my CSS and to wrapper, you can see the width is set to 960. So anytime someone opens this page on a browser or a device that cannot handle 960 pixels wide, this media query will kick in and it will be styled for mobile. Might be a little bit lazy to do it like that because then you've only got two, two options, either 960 and above or mobile view. I find this works quite well actually. In you know 90% of cases, people who have uh, tablets and desktops are able to view a website with 960 pixels at least and then mobile devices obviously um, are much narrower and, and more in portrait orientation. So what you want to try and avoid with uh, responsive design is people having to scroll sideways. It's fine for them to scroll vertically but not horizontally. So what I'm going to do is make a media query. Now this area at the top here allows you to create media queries. So I'm just going to click on this plus button here and I'm going to enter the max width for my media query which will be 960. And then I'm going to say I don't want to create a new CSS uh, style sheet for that. I want to build a media query into my existing style sheet. So I'll choose that styles.css and press OK. And you'll see that it puts a little green bar up here indicating where that uh, media query is. And if I go to uh, my uh, code view and switch to styles, you will see right at the bottom here, it's put in a media query at media max width 960 pixels, then it's got curly brackets. Anything that goes inside those curly brackets will be used to style when the screen is narrower than 960. So let's just test this. So I'm going to select my style sheet here and then I'm going to go to media and select my media query and you can see at the moment for this media query I've got no rules or selectors. So I'm just going to just to test that it is actually working I'm just going to add a selector for body and I'm just going to change the background color to red so that I can test this. And now if I grab this side um, handle here and I start making my screen smaller, narrower, as I get to 960 it should turn to a red background. Yes. Okay, so that means the media query is working. So less than 960, greater than 960. And so down here you can see inside that media query I now have a new 
uh, CSS rule for the body tag that says background color red and over here is my media query so now we're ready to actually start restyling this um, this page for mobile now down at the bottom here I can choose a particular device so let's just say that we're gonna go for an iPhone 7 okay so we can see now iPhone 7 this is a terrible experience because it hasn't been optimized for that mobile size so what we're going to do with the next activity is we're now going to use this media query and we're going to start styling this so that it looks good on a mobile device i hope you've enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel and see you next time